Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. Merry Christmas. This is Night Prayer for Wednesday, December 28th. It's the feast day of the Holy Innocents and the scripture for this service. Psalm 126, Revelation 21, verse 1 through 7. And now join me in singing verse 3 of While Shepherds Watch Their Flocks. To you in David's town this day is born of David's line, the Savior who is Christ the Lord, and this shall be the sign. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, when God Most High restored the fortunes of Zion, it was like we were dreaming. Hallelujah. Psalm 126, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, when God Most High restored the fortunes of Zion, it was like we were dreaming. Our mouths filled with laughter and our tongues singing. And then the heathen said, God Most High has done great things for them. You have done great things for us, O God, and we rejoice. Restore our fortunes, O beloved God, like the streams of the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy, and they that go out weeping, bearing precious seed, shall come home rejoicing, bringing their sheaves. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now, and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, when God Most High restored the fortunes of Zion. It was like we were dreaming. Hallelujah. A reading from the Revelation to John, chapter 21, beginning at verse 1. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also, he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I in the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these things, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, 
Hide us under the shadow of your wings and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Most dear God, we rejoice in your blessings and we praise your glory. You have done great things and we thank you forever. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.